Hi everyone, welcome to SNS Ninja. Today we are going to talk about an ABSU student who was killed by suspected uh, cultists. It is so unfortunate and really sad that a student, a very handsome student, as you can see him on the screen, uh, these people you are seeing were the people that chased him, went down to him and shot him. We are going to show you about the video. But before we can, let's talk about cultism. Cultism has become a very, very serious issue in, in Nigeria, especially in the southern part of Nigeria. The southern part of Nigeria, the students have become cultists. I don't know the reason, whether it is lack of home training, whether it is inferiority complex, I don't know. Psychological, I don't know. But this has to do with a lot of family problems because there is no how a child and insecure a lot of people are looking for a way to be secured. If you go to the south, you find that there are a lot of rising terrorist groups which are there, like the Biafran, trying to fight the government. And this has made a lot of people to feel insecure. So many people want to go and join the terrorist group so that, or join a cult group so that they will be safe. They can they also have gone to protect themselves. I'm not trying to say that what they did is right or what he did is right, but I'm trying to to say that this thing has become a problem in most Nigerian polytechnics and also in some of our institutions and this has become children will become cult members for the rest of their life and you find that most of these people go into taking of drugs go into taking of blood and so many things they do and in fact they will be asked to kill many other people so this has become young uh, future leaders that we think they are going to be something tomorrow have become uh, horrible uh, people that you can mingle around. So you have to be very careful of which person you will just look at the way they, they were. Uh, they shot at this boy. This boy, look at how young this boy in his prime age. He's not more than 25 years, but just look at the way these people have silenced him and killed him in a very ho uh, horrible manner. And now it is his his parents that are at loss because somebody took this boy for nine good months and now gave birth to him not to him through primary school not to him through secondary school now put that person in high school some of these parents they sell akara they sell so many sort of second hand clothes sell a lot of things in order to survive only for these children now to go into cultism and join all groups and some of these group people join is for them to get good grades in the high school institution which is really really uh, sad according to um the police PRO, Nigerian police PRO, he said that it is when he was in school, the best achievement he had was not joining any cultist group because he got distinction in his diploma, but because he did not join any cultist group, he was able to scale through and be successful. So let's check out the video. And when we check out the video, we are going to analyze and come back and we are going to discuss and talk about how this um, very promising child was silenced to death. Just look at this promising boy, this boy that is in his prime age. Now, just look at these boys. They came. I, I can't just believe that they have the guts to kill human beings. If not that, they have already drank blood. They have already become vicious. How can they just come? Look at them. The three of them, they came over this boy. This boy was looking so sorrowful and he was killed. Uh, stories that we are getting is that they are from a rival uh, group that is called, um, one of their uh, rival group called Hai. Oh, I. So this was, they are from the Black S and he's from a rival group called I. So they came down and they came and shot him. Just 
can you believe how these um, young boys and girls have turned into? I think the police should look into this. Their face is, can you can virtually see their faces. So I believe that the authorities will go in to fish them out and also uh, let them face the raft of death. They should go to prison. They should go and spend the rest of their life in prison. What they did is so horrible. Let's look at the video again. Okay, now we can see the late ABSU student there, Anambra's uh, State University student. You can see, it's for Abia State uh, University. You can see him there. Okay, look at them now coming to him, shooting him. Just look at the way they were shooting him. No remorsefulness. They shot him the first time. They shot him another time. They shot him. He was, he was trying to save his life. He was running for his life, but this, they followed him, shot him. And that was how this boy lost his life. A lot of people have come out to say that, that they don't feel sorrowful for him because they don't know the kind of horrible things he has done. But it has not been proven. Nobody can prove that he was a member of I or I um, cult group. All we know is that suspected cultists came to him, whether they have a problem with him or that they have a business with him. It is surely that there must be something that have joined them together before they will be able to come over to him and attack him, not just like that. I mean, somebody has lost a brother, a future husband, a sister, a future father. Why is this, uh, I mean, Nigerian students turning into so wild animals? What they are doing is so wild. What they are doing is, oh, I, I don't even know how to explain because I feel really, really sorry for the family of these children because what they are doing has become something else. Taking a child to school in the South Nile is something else because a lot of what cultists are doing. They don't have any remorseful in what they do. They can just come hit, kill, and go. Hit, kill, and go. I, I mean, the securities should go into this. They should look into this problem. Whether he was a, a cultist group, whether he was part of them, whether he has offended them or took away their girlfriend or what has ever happened. Because it is either about a girl or money or I don't think more than that. It is always about that. Since he's not a politician, that you say he's a politician. He is not a politician. Just look at the way they came. They don't have the mic. Staying in the South is really, 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 really something else. That's why when my brother went to do service, I told him, leave that place. This is not a place for you. Look for another place to stay. Because what they do is that if you are not there, they killed you. If you are this, they killed you. And now look at even their own killing themselves. Students now killing them. Anyhow, this boy now has lost his life his parents has lost a very precious member what do you think what do you think share your views by commenting below don't forget to subscribe to our update thank you and compliment pieces